Hi, I'm Lauren from Guthrie & Ganny and today I'm going to show you my top tips for sewing with sequin fabric. I know sewing with sequins can seem quite scary but I'm going to talk you through some tips that will make it a lot easier than you would think. First of all, I'm going to talk you through the cutting and how to lay your fabric out. So instead of using the selvage like you normally would, you want to look for the edge of where the sequins are sewn on. The, this particular fabric the sequins are sewn onto a really fine mesh and the edge of your fabric might be quite irregular like this one so instead just look for the edge of where the sequins are sewn on. So you measure from that edge to the fold to make sure that it's even before placing your pattern piece on. So just check that the fold is even all the way up your fabric like that. Then bring your pattern piece in. Um, I'm going to be making a really simple top with this sequin fabric um, and this is my front bodice piece here. So just place it onto the fold of the fabric and then you can start pinning it on just like you would with normal fabric. So the main difference with this sequin is that really you're not going to be doing anything hugely different from sewing with regular fabric. Because the sequins are so small, it's really easy to work with and it means that you can just cut straight through it and you can sew straight through it as well. So once you've got your pattern piece pinned on, it's time to cut out. I'm just going to be using my normal dressmaking shears and if you're worried about blunting your scissors you can use this really handy scissor sharpener. All you have to do is put your scissors into the sharpener and then close them and it'll just make them nice and sharp again. Then just cut it out like normal fabric. So once you've got all your pattern pieces cut out, it's time to put your pattern markings and any notches onto the fabric. And to make them a little bit easier to see, I would recommend doing tailor's tacks, even if you normally snip into the fabric. So I'm going to just use a contrasting colour of thread and just make sure you've got enough length on it that you're going to have two, two strands of thread hanging down from the needle, like that. And then just simply do a little stitch right where the notch is on your pattern pieces and that will help you line things up accurately later. So when you come to sew your seams together it's really important that you pin them because the backing fabric, that th sort of thin mesh that the sequins are on is a little bit stretchy so even if you sometimes cheat and don't put pins in it's really important to this time. So make sure that your edges are all lined up and just pin the whole length of the seam ready to sew. It just stops it coming out of shape by the time you get to the bottom of the seam. And then it's time to sew your seam. So with my sewing machine, I've just got a regular needle in. I'm using a size 80 and I've made sure that it's a fresh needle as well so that it is nice and sharp. And again, because the sequins are so small, you can just literally sew straight over them so you don't have to worry about taking them out. And that is the beauty of this fabric. It's really easy to work with. So just like you normally would, line it up with your seam allowance on your pattern and then just start sewing. Once you've sewn your seam, instead of pressing it like you normally would, what you're going to do is just squish it with your fingers. So open out the seam allowances and just squash it flat. And what this does is it makes the sequins just sit much better and much flatter. So just go along your whole seam, just squishing it open. You also don't have to worry about finishing these seam allowances off because every sequence is individually sewn on so it doesn't come away. Once you've cut the fabric, the sequins that are left behind will just stay in place. And as you can see, the seam is sitting much flatter. 
So just continue making the garment like you normally would, sewing all your seams, squashing them open like I showed you before. And then when you come to finish it off and you're doing the hemming, you can either top stitch it and on some colors of sequin fabric, the stitching will blend in really well, but you can also do it just an invisible catch stitch hem from the back. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do now. I've got some red thread just so it's a bit easier for you to see but when you're making it on your own garment I would use a, a matching colour of thread. For the, for the silver sequins I would say white would be fine, it will just blend into the background. So thread up your needle and then fold back your hem by the, the hem allowance that's included in your pattern. And again instead of pressing it just sort of squash it flat like this. Anchor your thread into the seam allowance and then just work your way along the bottom of the hem, taking a little tiny stitch and just catching the mesh on the main part of the fabric and then taking a bit of a longer stitch on that hem allowance that you've, that you've folded back. So just work your way along all the way around and I would recommend doing this on any sleeve hems and at the bottom as well and it's just a much more subtle way to finish it off. So I hope you find those top tips useful. The main thing is just don't be scared and just sew like you normally would. The sequins can make really, really nice garments, especially if you just use a simple pattern. So here I've just got a really simple top. It's just got bust darts at the side. You sew your darts the same way as you normally would um, and the light just catches it so much. It makes a really nice garment. I would recommend lining any sequin garment that you make just because it will feel a bit softer next to your skin. So to do that, just make the lining in exactly the same way as you make the sequin top and just sew them together at the neckline. You can then either finish by under stitching it like I've done on this one here. So the stitching just appears on the lining on the inside or on this black version that I've got here, which is also perfect for the party season. It's just top stitched all the way around and you can see that the thread just really blends into the sequins. You can't see it at all. So once again, I hope you find those tips really useful. It's honestly not as scary as you would think. You just have to give it a go. You can make some really beautiful tops for the party season. If you want to ask me any questions, you can find me on Twitter or on Instagram, or you can leave a comment on the blog. All of the links are below, so happy sewing! Mm -hmm.